everybody. Most Radical Man ever on YouTube. Most Radical Man on Twitter. And I want to talk about a blog post I did today. Texas Cowers to TSA. You can find it on conradrocks.net, May 26th. Now, Texas came very close to kicking the TSA out of Texas. Um, in the House, they were passing the anti-groping bill. Unanimously it passed, 138 to 0. The, the representatives were listening to the will of the people, and it was being moved into the Senate. The Senate, apparently there was going to be a unanimous vote there as well. Then something happens. I'm, not, I'm a little unclear about what happened uh, at the time I recorded this video. But apparently some bigwig from the federal government said, if you pass this bill, we're going to ground every plane in Texas. So they caved. They caved. Now, I get accused of being a constitutionalist or an anarchist or a voluntarist or whatever. Basically, man, I'm just a Christian. And the angle that I'm taking here is, you know, let your yes be yes and your no be no. We elect these people. I don't elect, but... People are elected based on what they say, okay? And we know that they lie. You know, read my lips, no new taxes. I did not have sex with that woman, Monica Lewinsky. Or, what's another one? Oh, yeah, if I'm elected, I will bring all, my, all the troops home. You can take it to the bank. And now, we are, now here we are going to Libya. <laughs> okay, so basically, they lie to get elected. Anyway, but one thing that they do, and this is very dangerous, if you read Acts chapter 5, Ananias and Sapphira, they lied to God, and they got whacked. God killed them. Read Acts chapter 5. should wake you up a little bit. These people, <clears throat> they take their left hand, put it on a Bible. They don't put it on a, a car manual. They don't put it on a Super Nintendo instruction booklet. They put it on the Holy Bible. And then they raise the other hand, and they're swearing to God something like this that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. So what they're saying is they're taking an oath. That's their oath of office. They will defend the Constitution. Now, in the Constitution, uh, for the Constitution to be ratified, they had to pass the, t the Bill of Rights. It had to be accepted along with it. And here's one, the Fourth Amendment. And this is the whole problem with the TSA. It is not ambiguous. It's pretty, pretty easy to figure out. The common layman, it's not, you know, it's not in vague language. The right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated, and no warrants shall issue, but upon probable cause, supported by an oath or affirmation, and particularly describing the place to be searched and the persons or things to be seized. So what, what's happening here? Um, under this, oh, because of 9-11, you know, they're violating the Fourth Amendment. There is no probable cause. We're taking a lot of innocent people that just want to go to Dallas, Atlanta, and Miami, Detroit, or to another country or whatever, and we're treating them like they're criminals. If we do this, the terrorists have won. Do you, do you understand that? The terrorists have won. They're turning us into a police state, and... Um, you know, we're no longer, America's no longer the land of the free. We're, you know, we're turning into slaves. This type of mentality with slowly giving up our God-given rights and just saying, here, here you can have my rights, you can have my freedom, is going to end up, there's going to be cameras on every street. There's going to be, you know, maybe eventually policemen in every house. Maybe they'll put us in cages to tell us that we can't have trans fats. You know, and, and you know, watch, watch what we're, put a, you know, put a, put a camera on our fridge or something. Or, good gosh, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> land of the free, home of the brave, is turning into the land of the slaves, home of the cowards. We can't have this. Okay? Anyway, so that's my position on it. Basically, when people swear to God on the Bible, man, they should fear God. And these people don't. That's where I'm coming from. Till we meet again, dig deeper, go higher.